This is a lesson on estimating sums. It is lesson four in unit two, whole numbers. Um, so what we're going to be focusing in on is um, adding and we're going to be focusing on just estimating so it's a little less specific than adding numbers together fully. Okay, so when um, a problem or question starts with about how many or even just the word about, that's when you know that you are supposed to estimate rather than solve fully, okay? Um, so estimating means to use numbers that are close to the actual numbers but are easier to work with. So um, the purpose of estimating is to get an idea of what the answer is going to be uh, while just doing it in your head. Now obviously we're going to start doing it on paper first just so that we can get into the habit and um, understanding how to estimate properly. But uh, the whole purpose is so that you can find numbers in your head that are close to the actual numbers so that you can find close or numbers that are close to the answers. It's for cases when you don't need to know the exact number. For example, when you're shopping and you pick out a few things, um, you can use estimation to see about how much you're going to have to spend. Okay, I do it all the time when I shop. So, um, an example for estimating we're going to use is 395 plus 452. So there are three different strategies for estimation. I'll show you the one that we will most commonly use first, and then I'll show you two other ways of estimating. Um, and if those ones don't make sense, then that's okay as long as the top one makes sense, we're cool. Okay? Um, so the first way is to use rounding, and we talked about this at the beginning of the year. But um, so you round the number that is closest to the closest tens place, or closest hundreds place, or the closest thousands place, or so on. Okay, and so an example is so 395 was one of our numbers. It is closest to 400 if we're rounding to the nearest hundreds. Okay, and we got that by saying, okay, we've got three, we look right next door at the nine, and we think if it's four or less, we let it rest, and if it's five or more, which nine is, then we raise the score of the three to the next number up, which is a four, okay? And then we've got 452, and we do the same thing if we're rounding to the nearest hundreds. We've got the four, and then we look right next door at the five, Five is five or more again, so the four raises the score to a five and becomes 500. Okay, whatever we're rounding to, if we're rounding to hundreds, all the numbers after are going to be zero. Um, and then we add 400 plus 500, and you can probably do that in your head, which is 900. Okay, and that's the whole purpose of this, because the actual answer would be very close to that. Okay. And then I put this here, which I'll delete in a second or move, uh, but this was the poem that I just said. So um, find the number, look right next door, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So if, uh, if the five, if this five was a four instead, so it was 442, then it would round down and the four would rest and it would become 400. But because five is five or more, then we raise the score, okay? And one second, I'm just going to move that. Okay, so the other, the other uh, ways of estimating that are uh, not as specific, um, you can do front end estimating and that's just where you look at the front digit of each number and then you ignore everything else and just add those together. Um, that gets you sort of a less specific answer so it's going to be further from what the real answers is so i don't recommend using this unless you don't really need to know uh very specific at all um here's an example so we've got 395 plus 452 like before and so we just look at the three and it becomes 300 and we just look at the four and it becomes 400 and then we got 700. so you'll notice that that is quite a different estimate than 900 up here Okay, it's 200 different and this one's way closer. So again, this way is better, but this is another way of rounding. Um, and the last way is to round the smaller digits for a closer estimate. So think about 95 and 52. So remember that's just 95 and 52 and then the 300 and 400 are left. 
And so 95 is about 100 and 50 is about, or 52 is about 50. So if you add those two, get two together, you get 150. And then add 150 to the front end estimate. So that's 395 plus 452. Um, and then we get 700 plus 150 equals 850. Um, so this is sort of a little bit, it's basically rounding to the nearest tens. Um, so 95, if I were to look at that, five raises the score of the nine to a 10 and it becomes 100. And then the two lets the five rest as a five. Um, and so basically it's 750, or sorry, basically it's uh, 400 plus 450 and that equals 850 so this is the most specific way uh, but again the one at the top is going to be your best bet for rounding um, so let's look at some examples here so estimate the following so you can use any strategy that you want but what you need to do is estimate uh, well actually don't use just front end estimating you either use that first one or the last one um, but round this number and round to this number and uh, I'll say round this one to the nearest hundreds and then round this one to the nearest uh, hundreds again, okay? Just to see a little bit different. So pause the video, do these two questions and then play again to see if you got it right. Okay, so um, if I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, that means I'm looking at this number and this number. So the three in 305 and the four in 489. Okay, so if I'm looking at the three, I look right next door, zero is four or less, so the three rests and stays a three. Then I look at the four, and it has an eight beside it, so eight is five or more. We raise the score of the four, turns into five, and we put zeros after that, and then we are left with 800. So that means that our estimate is about 800 for that answer. And, oh, I did that, that's okay. Um, and then this one, if we're looking at the closest hundred again, we're looking at that second number in. Um, and so we've got three and this is an eight. So the three will stay the same. Eight, we don't know, we have to look right next door. It's a zero again, so uh, it, it lets it rest because it's four or less. And then we just put zeros after. Um, and then we look at this one over here, we've got a six and a one. So six is going to stay the same because we're rounding to the nearest hundred. And then we've got a one and then a five next door. So five is five or more and we raise the score of the one to a two. The other stuff becomes uh, zeros. And then eight plus two here, eight plus two is 10. So that means that uh, this is gonna be 10,000 as an estimate. Okay, because 38 plus 62 is 100, I think. Let's just make sure. <laughs> Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. And then those zeros go after. Okay. Um, yeah. So that is your thing. And then just to show you, um, if I were to round to the nearest thousands, um, then I would get, let's see, three and then eight is five or more and raise the score. So that's four thousand. And then we've got six it would round to, so that would equal 10,000. Interestingly enough, that doesn't normally happen, but in this case, you get the same estimate, so that's interesting. And then, uh, yeah, your assignment's not on here, so you'll just have to look right next to the video, and uh, you'll see what your textbook assignment is.